Taban takes on ISKP, its most serious foe in Afghanistan. In the six weeks since the Taban came to power, there have been reports of Islamic State in Khorasan province, ISKP, attacks and activity in the cities of Kabul, Jalalabad and mazar i sharif On the evening of August 26, just 11 days after the Taban takeover of the country, ISKP claimed responsibility for a bombing at Kabul's Hamid Karzai International Airport. That attack led to the deaths of more than 180 people and injuries to hundreds of others. In the last several weeks, several attacks have been reported in the city of Jalalabad, the capital of Nangarhar province, and one of ISKP's most common targets. The Taban has launched a crackdown on ISKP members, with reported detention of at least 80 purported fighters in Nangarhar, an ISKP stronghold. Eliminating ISKP, a long-time Taban foe, has proven much more difficult than the group will let on. Though, the Afghan group successfully wrested districts from ISKP in eastern Afghanistan in the past. Though much of ISKP's activity has been based in Nangarhar, neighboring Kunar has proven to be an especially valuable province for ISKP recruitment. The Taban, said Morgan, have another pressing fear that should drive them to act decisively against ISKP forces, defections. There is a serious historical precedent for this fear. One of the first leaders of ISKP forces in the southwestern provinces of Helmand and Farah was Mullah Abdul Rauf Kadem. In the month since former President Ashraf Ghani fled and they took over the country, no foreign government, including longtime allies like Islamabad and Tehran, have acknowledged the Taban as the official government of Afghanistan. Defeating ISKP, said Morgan, is in the Taban's interest, and it would be a clear indication that the Taban, too, believes in counterterrorism. Quite simply, it's a way to build up international goodwill, said Morgan.